all right welcome back to my youtube channel don't forget to like subscribe leave me a comment in the comment section below you know on my channel we go around and we talk to small business owner we talk to motivational speaker just person that's been doing good in, in in the community but today we got an exclusive with someone that's been killing the skincare game i'm not talking about regular skincare all natural and you know once you go natural you can't go wrong we're here with South Pittsburgh Finest, Roletta Bean. Hey, Roletta. Hey, everybody. <laughs> How you been doing? I'm great. I'm blessed. That's good. That's yeah. good. I'm, I'm glad for you to give us a sit down to really talk to you about small business. I know you've been doing really good in the skincare game. You've been killing it. I use the product, so I know you've been killing yeah. it. Yeah. So let's jump into it. How long have you been a small business owner? Um, for about eight months now. Eight months? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty new. It's yeah. Have, it's fresh been, in the business. Okay, you've been you've been liking it. Yeah, uh, you know, it's up good days, bad days, but overall, you know, I love it. You okay, know, it's my brand. I love it. That's yeah. good. That's good. That's good. Was it easy starting your business? Um, it was. It was easy starting it. Like I said, it was just the struggle of me really starting it like pushing myself to go ahead and do it but okay. after i went on and did it like it wasn't a hard process, it wasn't hard process. no okay uh -huh. that's pretty good and a lot of people maybe see you running your business and think it's all easy what, what's some of the good and the bad about owning your own business well the good is you know i'm the boss all my own business so all my ideas you know i create and you know all of my formulas and things i come up with you know i i i do that yeah so, you control all, all yeah all so that's cool i don't have to depend on nobody else telling what to do about that situation my marketing none of that stuff okay. but you know the downsides is that i'm just i'm a small business you know my name is not out there yet like that you know i'm not not big like a lot of big names so i'm kind of on my way to the top basically trying to get ahead so it's kind, so of, it's kind hard of hard really... like that yeah okay I got you that. know me networking and money to do that stuff yeah, like that's that true, you that's know because so... it take a lot to really push a new brand out there yes definitely mm -hmm. whereas a lot of, what's your skincare because that's something delicate you know what i mean right so... a lot of people don't really entrust in you know like how you know you know like I feel, how I it work yeah you do the work you know <laughs> oh, oh how long have you been doing your business like um for like a year and a half i've been using it myself and all my kids like we've been experimenting for like a year and a half oh, okay now. that's pretty that's, that's not bad are you seeing see results on it oh stuff? definitely yeah definitely it, i mean i try i use all of my products so um like i see like when i look back at old pictures and stuff i'm like dang changes. yeah i mean after i use and all my past me, i'm like dang you know, <laughs> you've so. seen some good results yeah, already yeah yeah that's good uh -huh. that's good it's good well I, I got, you, you, you have this brand curve Road glow what inspired you to start your business what was the inspiration behind starting your own business um i always wanted to be a business owner you know i just didn't know what i wanted to do I, I was, couple of things I want to do home interior decorating the clothing line you know I just didn't know but it kind of like fell in my lap really okay. the skincare business kind of fell in my lap you okay. know <laughs> it wasn't something planned no it wasn't nothing planned at all uh-uh oh, yeah uh -huh. just fell in my lap for real and I, I ran with it it's a good thing so okay. I'm running with it skincare it's a lot of company out there make skincare like it's a lot of skincare company out there what 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 how do you make your your skincare products stand out more than others? Like, why do you make your brand stand out more than other companies? Uh, it's, it speaks for itself. Basically, it's the results. I mean, like, it's like the fountain of youth, for real. <laughs> <laughs> so the quality of it is different yeah, from everybody else. definitely. Um, I mean, I visited with somebody the other day. I took some products, too, and they were showing me something they had bought from the mall. They just kind of wanted me to compare a little bit with theirs. And so we started reading the ingredients on our back, and we didn't know a thing about what the ingredients know, was. So that literally what makes mine stand out. Like you can literally read, you know exactly what's in it. That's it's true. all natural. Because they buy a lot of skincare products and you look at it and some words they got on it, you don't know what's that. It ain't natural. Right, so they, 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 <laughs> I don't know why they do that. But yeah, you look at it, you're like, it. What, what's that yeah, word? Yeah, that ain't natural. Uh, so, yeah. so you're natural. I'm make natural. Yours. <laughs> I'm, it's all natural. You know exactly what's in it. I got yeah. you, I got you. Like a, a lot of a lot of kids coming out of school want to start their own business. Like, what advice would you give to them about start about 
I'm um, starting. Just be ready. Again, I mean, it's a lot to it. It's just not like, it's not as easy as just, I'm going to start a business. Like, you got to have really have your ducks in a row. You got you know? to like it. You got to love, love it. it. You got to love it. Yeah, ain't no like You got to love it. Just, just start yeah. it because they want to make some money. Like, start it because no. that's what you love. You, you're going to lose some money before you make some money. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. If, if you were to look back from when you started the business till now, what what would you change? Um, I'm not really sure if I would change anything. Like maybe just really believing in myself and stepping out there. You know, like not take so long and believing in myself. Yeah, sorry, a bit sooner. Yeah, just a little sooner, basically. I know that challenge is because sometimes you like you want to do it. But you're like, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna be successful. Right. Let's take right. the chance. Yeah, and take the chance. It's something yeah. that you love. Do it. Just, just I mean, do just it. do it. You know, think about it later. You know, like it's gonna be ups and downs, but I don't need to worry about that. Just do it. That's good. Yeah. Small business is the backbone of America economy. Would, would you say that's true? I would say it was. Yeah, I guess it would be true. You know, because I mean, you got to start somewhere, and small business is where you start from. That's true. You know, I know when it's when it was COVID, a lot of big corporations shut down. Right. And a lot of small business have to keep yeah, running. Yeah, COVID made everybody show their talents. You yeah, know? that's true. That's yeah. true. That's, I, I would agree on that one. Mm -hmm. Back then, when, when when COVID was going on, a lot of place shut down. Small right. business was still, still going. Born, yeah. That's your only income. Right. So I think it's a backbone for real. Yeah, definitely. That you put it that way. Yeah. All right. Can, can you say your business being a success based on how far you're coming from? It's definitely been a success. Like, I can't believe <laughs> how big it's done God. I mean, I know it's not the biggest, but, I mean, for my town, they show me I'm beloved. They showing out. Like, Huntsville showing out for me. You know, Nashville. Texas, so it's you know it's it's it's, it's coming. It's, yeah, it's great. You see, I mean, you see what it's especially from, from when I know. start started, you know, like for me not believing I can even sell this. I mean, I'm just doing it for myself just to clear me up and yeah. really actually be making money doing it. That's good. Yeah, that's good. What what motivation? What motivates to work hard or building your brand? Like, what's your motivation behind Curve Road Glow? It's mine. You know, yeah, I mean, I don't play about me. I don't play about me and mine. So, me and mine, you know, I got to put my all in it. You know, that's my name on there. So, you know, I got to step hard about mine. Okay. Yeah. Running your own business is not pretty easy. Like, sometimes you have, like, you, you want to give up on running your business. What, what motivates you to stay doing what you do to run your small business? My results. <laughs> like definitely like when you see people <laughs> yeah but I was like but people hit me up all the time they're like like they don't truly try everything and nothing works for them like please don't stop making this like this is the clear me up like it's the best my skin ever look like so when i get texts like that and messages like that it's just like yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna stop that's this. True, I'm like, yeah, true. I'm gonna realize going. that you're helping, it make, yeah. it, you're making a difference. Yeah, I'm making a difference. So, that's that's yeah. pretty good. That's, that's a good motivation. Yeah. What what you wish you know before you started a bit before you start your business? Um before you jump into it and say I'ma start my business, what what you wish you had known before you started? Just just the just the business aspects, period. You know, I don't really know much about running a business. Yeah. I don't really know what it takes to run a business. And it's just like you need to know about marketing, like it's a lot of stuff I'm learning now that I didn't know when I first started. You know, now I'm having to kind of starting over a little bit, just yeah. trying to revamp it, make it better. But right, you know, yeah. So it's kind of it's teachable. You know, it's teaching me. So uh, you know, I mean, I maybe I not have known if I would never started it. You know, but if I had a team or I had somebody, maybe some classes or just something, I don't know, not really for sure what I would need it before I before you, you started know started it, but. Just more coaching, you know, yeah. just more knowledge of, you know, what the business world is all about. That's true, basically. because it's not easy. The business world is a, is a dog eat dog game. Yes, definitely. The best product, like whatever yeah. you can do to make your product stand out, you, you got to do it. Right. Yeah, that's that, that's it. But what I, what I want to ask you, like, I see a lot of persons that run small business tear their family apart, it, it kills relationship, like, it's not easy like to run a small business and maintain your family. Mm -hmm. 
how, how do you maintain that balance to like run your business and still have a family life? Because I know it's not easy to do all of that. Yeah, well, I guess I'm thankful that when my gift came to me, I was ready for it. Like my kids, <laughs> you know, my kids are grown, that's, that's you know, true. like I don't have to worry about, you know, trying to balance kids and work life and yeah. home life because now it's just me. So it's not as hard for me as it will be someone like you, you know, yeah, with a, yeah, with a kid still little and in school yeah. and stuff and <laughs> having to balance all of that, you know, so it's not as hard for me. That's good. That's yeah. Good. I know running your business is not easy. Like right. it, it, it tear, it tear people apart. Like right. it, it triple family. You do a lot of stuff, but I just want to thank you for having us having this sit down real later. Yeah. It was a pleasure, you. you know what I mean? Yeah, thank you for letting me but, come on your show. Like no problem. yeah. My no first problem. interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what I want to ask you, if you had one celebrity to 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 use your brother to promote your brand, who would that be? Uh, Glorilla, of course. I mean, she got this hot song out, yeah, Glow, okay. and that's kind of my theme song. So. I thought it was gonna fit me, yeah. but yeah, <laughs> uh, you already celebrity, Floyd. Come on now, Let, you know. <laughs> yeah, but I just wanna tell you, thanks for having the sit down. And Curve Row Glow is the way to go. Like one of the best natural skincare product right now out there. So if if you haven't tried it as yet, go try it. So if if person wanna find you or person wanna get in contact with you, where, 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 where um, can I have a website and uh, I have a couple of social media links as well. Okay. And uh you can add those add those in the video. I will, I will, I will. You know, I'll give those to you. I and, will you know. I will. Remember people, curvy raw glow, one of the best natural skin care in South Pittsburgh. Okay. Y'all see that dryness? <laughs> That's all right, because Curvy Roll, blow that uh, Mother of Miracles to the rescue. Don't take much. Put that in. Right, this, what? This. Hold new hand. I'm glowing already. <laughs> Hold new hand. You see that? Yeah. Look at that. Hey. Yeah. Hold new hand. <laughs> yeah. Don't take much. That's, That's it. That natural stuff. That's yeah, it. Curvy Roll Glow. Smell Curvy good Roll Glow. <laughs> yeah. Curvy Roll Glow. I like it. <laughs>